Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a stunning holographic star effect in Figma. Follow along step by step and let's get started. First, we need to draw a star and set its size to 500 to 500. Then, increase the count from 5 to 12. Place your cursor here to see the ratio, then drag it up until you see a 90% ratio. It should look something like this. Next, set the fill to gradient and change it from linear to radial. Remove the second color and change the first one to this shade. Now start adding additional colors. Keep in mind that each time you click the plus button, the new color appears between the existing ones. So be careful not get confused. By the end, you should have 6 colors in total. Now let's adjust the positioning and order of the colors. Extend the gradient across the star, set its rotation to minus 15 degrees and align it with the corners. Then reorder the colors like this. Next, add another field to the star. Set its opacity to 100% and again choose Gradient. But this time, select Angular. Set the opacity of the second color to 100% and change it to white. By the end, you should have 4 black colors and 4 white colors, making a total of 8. Now we need to arrange them properly so that the colors alternate. One black, one white. Without placing the same color directly opposite itself. Once that looks good, set the blend mode to difference. Next, select the angular fill. Press Ctrl C or Command C on Mac to copy it, then Ctrl V or Command V to paste, and set this duplicates blend mode to screen. By now, you should have three fill layers. To enhance the effect, you can add a blur layer to make it look more natural. Duplicate the star. Remove its fill and add a solid white color with 10% opacity. Then apply a background blue effect and place it over the main star. Adjust the blue intensity as needed. For an even better result, add a drop shadow to the main star. You can also experiment with additional elements like adding some text and shapes, or placing a black PNG image over the star and setting its blend mode to overlay for a more realistic holographic effect. Want to make it even cooler? Use the Arc plugin to create curved text. This can give your sticker a unique and polished look. Here are two examples I made. Now it's your turn. Try it out and let me know what you think in the comments. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Figma tips and tricks. See you in the next video.